Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite. The explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So, um, they do Celebrity Jeopardy sometimes, right? <laughs> Never heard. Yeah. Wow. I'm on fun. Yeah. I mean, hey, we're, what's the illness week? Are we good? That was a the little, first cough on cam. A little tickle in the. Yeah. So, I mean, pube? when you watch regular Jeopardy, sometimes people are really bad. Yes. And they don't get very many questions right. Yeah. And Celebrity Jeopardy, you know, celebrities aren't known for being the smartest. Most nah, they usually give them, like, the uh, like the kids' Jeopardy questions. Too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh, yeah, they were like, Jeopardy. which thir- 18th century author? They don't ask them that kind of stuff. So um, I saw an article. I didn't even know this was a thing. But I saw an article. The, the wrestler Becky Lynch okay, okay. was on Jeopardy. Okay. She did not get a single question right out of all 60 wow. questions on the show. It said here, it says here, uh, became the first contestant to not give a single correct answer through 60 clues. I don't know if that means wow. ever in the history of the show. Wow. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, uh, now granted, she she's Irish. She's from Ireland. So maybe it was American culture and she didn't know a lot about it. Nah, so we're not, we're not jacking that man. Info is info. Yeah. Uh, you know, so maybe there was a little bit of the behind the, the pop culture stuff. I don't know. Nah. But I feel like it's almost impossible to miss every single question, to not get one question right. What do you, what do you think it is, Jenny? Like, I don't what do you know. Think it, what do you think it is, Jody? What do you <laughs> Stage think? Stage fright? Stage fright? No. She's a WWF wrestler. She's she performs for seventy thousand people. She's a she's a jock, man. It's all right. It's she's all a right. jock. I expect you to say she's a woman. I don't know. She's a <laughs> jock. I'm just. I didn't, if I, anyone's gonna say that, it was you. Th- that's what you always say yeah, behind, yeah, behind camera. Say. Anyway, so yeah, she's a jock, man. Come on. You don't expect the captain of the football team to be the, the smartest guy in the debate team. You can't expect the professional wrestling chick to be, you know, the t- smartest lady on the. Yeah, it's fine. We do different things. She's stupid. It's cool. She's stupid. It's cool. What? <laughs> if she says so she missed all sixty questions, that's that embarrassing. Make, does that make her? St- <laughs> Does that make her stupid? Does that make her st- I mean, it just makes her stupider than everybody else to ever be on Jeopardy. That's all it means. That's all. She's the worst player ever I mean, you know, on look, Jeopardy. And I apologize for calling you stupid. I mean it in a most note with like all due respect. You're stupid. But I'm just saying, with all due respect, you know, you're the worst player to ever play Jeopardy ever. I mean, I think, like, I wa- have watched Jeopardy a lot, and I have at least, yeah, I think I've got one question right. Like, I'm I tend re- to get, like, one or at two At least right. one. Yeah. yeah. I play it at home. I tend to get one yeah, or two right. Yeah, I mean, I will admit that sometimes I watch it, and I'm like, I don't know what the hell any of this is. But there's usually one or two. God. Then I'm in. Oh, it's funny that we're talking about Jeopardy while Wheel of Fortune is playing for, hey, uh, for yeah, the I YouTube. Thought it was, thought it was topical. <laughs> for, the, for the YouTube watchers at home. Um, I actually, I really love Jeopardy. Jeopardy is probably my favorite like game show. Because yeah, I wish there was a good uh, Jeopardy game, and we play yeah, that for the channel. Absolutely, there's not. There's a uh, there's a Jeopardy like for uh for the new Jackbox actually. A Jeopardy like for Jackbox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, but we can't play against uh, computer players, right? It was like a Jeopardy uh, live or something, know. but I don't want to play against other people. Oh, I would. I'd play against some people. Yeah. Let's beat some people. Maybe we'll bring it to the channel one day. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You guys it, let us know. Because, well, the Jeopardy game we tried, wasn't it the worst game we've ever played? Yeah, we, we, we ended up returning it immediately. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. That, that's your girl. She ever, does she sound smart? You know more about wrestling than I do because you, you, like, actually, like, watch it sometimes. Um, is, she, is she, like, smart? Sounding when she wrestles? Oh, I don't know. I don't how can you judge anyone's <laughs> intelligence by by them doing a wrestling character? Um, because like you know, you have certain people who talk a lot when they're wrestling. Like, I never thought that Shawn Michaels was a genius because you know he just kind of like hammed it up, but he did a lot of speaking. And when you can do a lot of speaking parts, it usually you know, and when you can convey yourself to people and your thoughts and ideas that. There's a certain degree of intelligence that that is there. Um, Are you asking if it looks like she dropped out of high school when she's on here talking? Like, I'm, yeah, I'm basically asking: Does she get up there and give like I don't know, like Shakespearean soliloquies, or does she get up there and say duh 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 duh? duh. She's like, I'm gonna fight you and win. That's kind of the stuff that's she's what she does. Saying. Yeah, she, oh. does, she does. The, I'm gonna fight you and win sort of talk. Yeah, not the like. 
let me tell you a story. Yeah, like, let okay, me. okay. She does not build a story with her words. Is Yeah, she comes out and builds a story with her actions. I mean, uh, and I you... Guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't even follow her career. <laughs> I figured you had. Yeah, no. I'm just saying, it's like, there's a big difference in what I would think, like, the intelligence level of somebody like, I don't know, The Rock versus Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar does not speak when he comes out there because he can't remember word right. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not hurt me. I'm sick. I have COVID. Um, <laughs> but, Who's but knocking at the, the door? It's but, but the Rock would get out there and he he could captivate a crowd. He knew he was thinking. You could see the thinking happening in his but head. Does charisma equal intelligence? It does not. But utilization of that charisma to further one's own self is utilization of intelligence. But not necessarily. Yes, I have necessarily. charisma and I'm smart, but I don't use them to better myself because I I don't know why. Mm. Maybe somebody smarter than you. Who? The Rock. <laughs> I would say yes, probably. <laughs> I, would say yes. I mean, he had a lot more opportunity than I had, too, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, that is true. That's when you have true. a famous father, that usually helps. That's true. Yeah. Usually if you have a famous parent, it tends to open up doors in your life that somebody like me, no. Nepotism, Jonas, is a part of everything. Nepotism got you to where you are right now, man. It got me to where I am. And apparently it wasn't enough. <laughs> apparently yeah. we need a little bit more nepotism, please. Yay, man. You know the... People say they hate that shit, but it's, you know it's, the, un, it's unavoidable. the record store employee and the drywall layer. You know, they didn't have a lot of pull in what kind of private schools I went to. Yeah. I mean, honestly, you could have gotten nephetized into drywall land and more uh, raid. I could be the I could be the tip top number one drywall layer, and I should be a little higher right now. If you only had a passion for a radio store, you could a radio store radio store editing. What did you say? <laughs> what was it? Record, record store, store. <laughs> record store, music right, store. Listen, whatever. <laughs> if you had a passion for that, you could be the head of, uh, you know, like Apple Music right now. Yeah, Columbia House. Yeah. I'd be out here being like, get 23 CDs for a penny. Mm -hmm. There's a certain degree of nepotism in that. Is there in Columbia House? Yeah. There's nepotism is everywhere. I already told you. You, you can't use it, it in a very blanketing way. It's a very specific thing. Uh, I use it in the same way of like, mm, how can, what, what other word works this way? Uh, no, I'm not taking that one. I was going to say pedophilism, but that one's not. Is that the right way? How do you say pedophilism? <laughs> pedophilia? I, I don't think that's quite a word, but a I, get, I know what you mean. But yeah, because sometimes it's, implied is is there, I guess. But that's not that's not right. We're not going to say that. I, I I use nepotism because all that nepotism is is you knowing somebody that gets you a position that could be a position at a fortune 500 company or it could be a job at taco bell yeah i mean some but yeah some some nepotism is more powerful than other yeah like yeah. like if like if like your dad was the owner of a taco bell and he gave my kid a job exactly. like yeah you use nepotism to get that but did it really put you up in the world anywhere yeah it put you up in the world from where you were Obviously, you need the job. Yeah, but if if your dad was the CEO of Ford, and you made my kid the, a run one of your plants, that's a way different position in life you're putting him in. I mean, look, man, there's rich kids out there that reject their daddy and mommy's way of making their money too. So you know, they're you take they're like and, I'm happy eating this ramen. You pick and choose wh where your nepotism comes from. You know, just, yeah, yeah. I mean, you. But I mean, there, it's it's definitely a spectrum. All right, and we we probably on that lower end of the yeah, spectrum. Yeah, I don't, but I mean, it's I've, all right. Have I ever got what what hookup have I gotten? Our cash app is TNT Dynamite seven seven seven. Our cash app. Send our. it in. <laughs> Send it in, folks. Uh, Nephitize. Have us. I ever nepotize? Have I ever like? Have I ever used a hookup to get something? Have you? Have, can you think of a hookup? Neff me, baby. Uh, have I ever used a hookup? I mean, I've had friends like oh. give me a job or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, I guess like you moved to Austin. And, like, 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I moved to Austin, had a job on, on deck. That's nepotism, baby. Yeah, yeah. They could have offered that job to so many other people, but I got it because I... Knew me. <laughs> <laughs> knew, and knew them. Nepotized. <laughs> you were nepotized right into that, dollars. So. You see, there's a thin line between, like, nepotism and, like, connections. Right? Yeah, I guess. It's, I mean, they're basically the same thing. Oh, now you're seeing light, baby. They <laughs> are the thing. <laughs> Go to thetracytown.com. Uh, subscribe there for Jonas. Uh, donate. TNT. <laughs> <laughs> we out. <laughs>